There are two main ways to hold the HVE. The first way is the thumb to nose grasp. And the second way is the pen grasp. Whichever way you decide to hold your HVE, it's personal preference, whichever is more comfortable for you, but you always want to make sure you have a finger towards the on and off switch. So in case of an emergency, you can always turn it off if you need to right away. So as the dental assistant, you're always going to want to make sure that you have your HVE inside of the patient's mouth before the doctor would even place their handpiece inside of the patient's mouth. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the upper right. So now the doctor is working on the buckle of tooth number three. So as you can see, the HVE is placed towards the occlusal lingual surface. That way you are on your side of the patient's mouth and you always wanna make sure that you're using two hands, both hands at the same time. So you have your mouth mirror to retract the tongue if needed. So now we're going to be working on the lingual side of number three. So the doctor is going to have their mirror right on that side. And we have the air water syringe right here. We want to make sure that we blow air onto the mirror in case the mirror gets foggy. That way the doctor can see exactly what they're working on. And we have the HVE right underneath the mirror. Um, in case we need to suction up any extra debris. Now the doctor is going to be working on the facial side of number eight. So we have the HVE placed right underneath, more towards the incisal edge and lingual side so that we're not in the doctor's way. If the doctor was working on the lingual side of number eight, they would have the mirror there so that they need to see the lingual side for indirect vision. And again, you wanna make sure that your HVE is not in their way, but right there underneath the mirror to catch any extra debris. Now the doctor is working on tooth number 15. This is actually the hardest tooth or the hardest side for dental assistance, since there's very little room and it's very hard to see from the patient's left side. So we're going to use the HVE to retract the patient's cheek. The doctor will be working on the occlusal of number 15. We want to make sure that we always have something in our left hand as well. Um, we have an air water syringe here to blow air on the mirror just in case the mirror gets foggy. Now the doctor is working on tooth number 19. We are using a mirror to retract the patient's cheek as well as the HVE. The doctor is also using their mirror on their side to retract the patient's tongue. Now the doctor is working on tooth number 24. You can use the HVE to retract the patient's lips if needed. You just want to make sure that you're extra careful not to rest the HVE or bump it against the patient's gums or tissues um, over time that would cause them pain and discomfort. Now the doctor is working on the buckle of number 30. We are using our mouth mirror to retract the patient's tongue, as well as keeping the HVE right above on the occlusal and lingual side to make sure that we're not in the doctor's way. You wanna make sure that when you're using the HVE, you never stick it directly towards the back of the patient's mouth. You always wanna make sure that it's right there where the doctor is prepping the tooth or working.